we've all done our we've all done our our our, our, our tips. I, I I just wrote down a, a few, and funny enough, the first one that I wrote down is one that uh, that Anya mentioned, but it is absolutely critical, which is that cash is king, and it's quite it's quite possible for a profitable company to go bankrupt if you run out of cash. So it is absolutely critical. And, the, and and I think one of the things I certainly didn't get this right to start with is you've got to learn the half dozen things that you need to look at in your business that are going to really tell you at a glance and you need to be really familiar with that are going to make sure whether you're successful or not. So you really know what how things are going, but they need to be relatively small. I think the other thing is that I've really, really learned is there's no right way to do anything. There's a way that works for you. And there are all sorts of different businesses out there that operate in very different ways. And don't, don't assume that um, because, you know, I don't know, someone at McKinsey or someone somewhere else says, well, the, 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 you know, the way, the state-of-the-art way to do this is, is to do this. And I, I, lots, of, lots of people that I talk to who started business like I have, have all had a moment of, of insecurity when the business is growing and you just think, we don't know what we're doing. We're absolute amateurs here. Well, and it's true, but you go and hire. So you go and, you, you know, you go and hire some people and bring them into the business who you think have worked for large organisations and know everything. And the truth is you know how to run your business better than they do. And it's, off, it, it, it's, it's very, very often uh, a real, real mess the other thing is to keep simplifying uh, what you do. I think everybody get everyone makes things too complicated, and, and I mean, probably I think as businesses get bigger, this becomes an increasing problem. But I, I also spend a lot of my time in our business trying to stop people give too many choices and too many complications uh, and make it difficult I mean, difficult for you to run the business, difficult for customers to choose what they want. Absolute, uh, uh, just simplicity. A proposition and service and how it works is absolutely key. I think the other thing is that headcount is not a measure of success. So having more people is not a good thing. You want to have as few people as you possibly can and still make it work. The perfect company in the world has six people in it. The minute that you have more than six people, you start to become inefficient because if there were six of us running a business... Everyone knows everything that's going on and we never need to tell each other. We never, don't waste time telling each other what's going on. I think the other thing is, when I, when I started the business, there was no money. So we just had our money that we put in and we just had to work really, really hard and we just had to really sweat our cash flow. There's a lot of money around these days. Don't be tempted to give too much equity away at the beginning. Because when you've got nothing... If you give someone 40%, it feels like, well, I've, I've got nothing, so 60% is still better than nothing. But let me tell you, in 10 years' time, when the business is at night, it's going to really, really piss you off. When these people have just had a, a free ride on the back of all your hard work uh, and, and your endeavours. So d- try, and make, try and make the cash work really hard and do it as much as you can without having to bring in too much uh, outside equity. And then really, as, as both Anya and Thomas said, is, and Kenya, is you just got to be incredibly persistent and enduring and not take no for an answer and believe in what you do and be resilient um, and just, just keep at it.